So here we are. Uh, this is uh, village Ule, and uh, it's deep in the Balkan. Deep in the Balkan. And yeah, this is what the roof that we're renovating at the moment used to be. It's a slate roof that looked like that one over there. Okay? Uh, these roofs usually leak and they leak a lot. And there was a lot of rot over here. All the hips came down. He's the grandson of the builder. His grandfather built the house. Where did he build the house? 1926. 1926 the house was built. This is the tiles. These are, these are slate stones, Bulgarian style, how all this slate came off the roof. These were the tiles that were on this roof. There's the house. That's a cob house. Uh, post and beam. Oak. And uh, cob. Real nice house. And we're going to make him a brand new roof. Watch it happen. Yeah, this is an example of lot. Okay, so this whole thing gets changed now. We've changed a lot. We've taken out this piece of wood that was all over here. The, the top plate of the wall has been taken out. It's totally messed. There, that's, that piece of plate has been taken out. We put in a piece of pine over there. These, uh, these beams totally messed. They're broken off over there. Same thing over here. Yeah, it's rot. And everything rotten gets changed, basically. And we're starting all over. Basically, it's the hips that always leak and the ridges because when you're making a slate roof um, and, and these huge stones all come together, you can kind of figure it out on the slope as it goes down. But where you have corners, there's no ridge caps. There wasn't ridge caps made for such huge ridges, you know. And that's where all the leaks would form. And uh, there you go here, yeah, so this is a classic. Check this out. Um, you see? The four hips on this little, this little barn, they got no, they got no uh, caps, there's no, uh, no ridge caps. And they put pieces of slate running down the hip. It's okay, it kind of works, but it leaks. It always leaks. So uh, we're going to make a brand new roof over here, it's going to be TNT. There's a connection, ready to go, and the top one's being made. TNT. Two hips put in place. 14 by 14 spruce. This is the dimensions of this material. It has a nice long scarf. The length from top to bottom is over 6 meters. These guys are 5, so we had to scarf them. I'm going to put another post over there take the load we've gone all around the house new top plate on top of the walls banging in the lock purlin this by Folka he's the owner he's the boss yeah 14 centimeter nail bravo all purlins are up, all hips are up, there's Mouse here, because he's rusty, he's rusty, don't you got it, and there we go. Yeah. Purlins all around the house, 12 by 12, hips 14 by 14, and tomorrow we start the office.
Bravo! Ajde, počem, počem, počem! A, pokaži perona, pokaži... A, 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 glej! A, glej se, glej! Daj, dobre, glej, 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 glej! Daj, dobre! Daj, ne iskrediš perona, ej! Ajde, baš majstore, ajde! Ajde, a, glej, 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 ko pravi baš majstore, glej, glej! Daj se auto, to strvali! Така, без редакция. А? Глеби, 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 глеби. Глеби сега. Ви сега да мерихте перони на муфта и газ, глеби. Нали зарад филма, нали? Добре. Продължавай. Обръща. Нищо, нищо. Аз дам друг. Друго труп. Това вече не трябва за сега. Okay. Uh, Gotovo si jeden darit. TNT And this house uh, this house had a roof that uh, almost caved in and it was leaking heavy duty and uh, some this section the whole section this was the chimney the chimney was coming up over here and that's where a lot usually starts leaks always start next to chimneys that's that's the way it is it's uh the chimney is <laughs> it's just you know it's where the it's where the tiles it's where the old slate wouldn't close up properly and it's you know put in, in and it was really hard to seal the roof around the chimney and always the area of the chimney is where problems start, is where the leaks start, is where a lot starts, is where things start falling down and caving in. And uh, basically that damage went from here to all the way. That whole corner was gone. There was no roof over there. And you can see it on the cob wall. And that's basically the story of this old house. It's a beautiful little house. Last laughter! Posleden martak! Dawai! Aide by Milcho. Aide by Forka. Perfect, perfect. The Dan Roof. Tan ta ran tan tan. Tan ta ra ran tan tan.
an old cob house in Bulgaria. And there's the ceiling. So these these usually would be beech. Some would be oak. And then the whole roof would be oak. That up there is oak. This is all cob. You can see it over there. They used they used hay in the clay mixed in, in with the mud. And then the walls are plastered with that. So over here there's nothing interesting. And yeah you can see it. This is where all the leaks were all the water damage was in this section. Because that's where the chimney was. Over there going up in the kitchen. So this would be the living room and it was always a, a small window connecting between the kitchen and the living room. In many old houses you would see sometimes hooks on the ceiling, two hooks, and that was for the baby cradle. And it was like a hammock over here and a baby would be hanging out in a hammock while the mother was cooking in there looking through the window, checking out the baby's not getting up to mischief. He has the old chimney, cob chimney, and up here started all the leaks and a lot of rot was in this section going all the way to that hip and actually even to here. These are new beams that we put in. Uh, they brand new pine, but because they were, down, they, were, they were down in the cellar and the cellar was getting wet, and they stayed there all summer. There was a lot of condense and stuff, so they went kind of black. But it's no big deal. Solid wood. Cob walls, um, so you'd have, so these are wind bracing, so all the corners would have diagonals coming down, it's bracing. The bottom floor would usually be stone, usually 50 centimeter thick walls, that's 50 centimeter, no cement over here. They would only put uh, mud between the stones and lay them down directly over mud. First floor, which is the basement, was always like this. And actually, the underground water would be running right down through the cellar. And you would have small holes letting the water out. Usually this would be mud 
and here it, is, it still is. Uh, they just put down a few stones and you would have actually the water seeping down and running all the way down. All ceilings, this is beach. You can identify beach because it's just worms love it and there's millions of small holes in it. Sometimes oak was used, sometimes usually beach. Um, above this there is about 10 centimeters of clay which is a perfect insulator and then come the floorboards on top of that for the first floor and between all the floors look at that oak beam that's tough man these beams are all oak all the big beams are oak look at the stone work so this, this would always be leaking eh? and water would be seeping down into the basement. So there would uh, usually be channels and, uh, and small holes letting the water out of the wall that is down, downhill. And that's it. Finito! Forca! Dai pe! Dai pe! Dai amor, c'è poco che ho avuto. Vedi? Oh my god. Good job. The Dan Luf.
completely. Ridge caps cemented. The last three ridge caps, the lowest ones on every hip, we don't cement until the gutters are put in. So you can take them out, lift up the, the two first two rows of tiles so you can nail on the gutters. Once the gutters are on, then you put back the three caps and cement them. You cement them, you just have to break them out and it just becomes a big mess. Might as well cement them after the gutters. So, it's solid. This will be here for 50 years minimum. As long as you look after it. You got to... Uh, you gotta look after your roof, eh? If you don't look after your roof, it goes to hell and comes down on your head. Roofs are not allowed to leak, you gotta walk around, you gotta check stuff, you gotta go up there. Then again, we put up uh, hydro insulation, so you're probably not gonna have any leaks. I mean, very hard to leak, uh, but still, I mean, you always gotta look at it, eh? You always gotta check it, man. All the problems start from the roof. A healthy house, Starts with a healthy roof. That's what I've got to say. Bark and shipyards. Now we go back to boat building. Better come here, my girl. What a good dog. What a good dog. What a good dog. She's the queen, man. Better. We'll see you again when we come to do something else over here, my girl. Kicking off.